Hello friends, Intuitive Renee here, bringing you another deck review. I can't call this a first impressions video because I have to be honest and say when this deck arrived, I opened it immediately because I was so excited. So this is the Field Tarot by Hannah Elizabeth Fofana. I hope I'm not uh, saying her name wrong. This deck is one that's been on my radar for such a long time and eventually I just couldn't resist anymore and I had to go out and buy it. So it arrived and as I said to you, I just could not wait to open it. So this is not a first impressions. I have opened it. I have drooled over the images. I have played with it, worked with it, shuffled it, and then I've put it back in order um, so that I could do this video for you because um, it is just remarkable. So I am an avid tarot collector. I do absolutely love my tarot decks. I have, <laughs> I have a fair amount of them. Um, but I just really do have such a, a love and appreciation for the artwork, for the way the deck works, the language of the deck, if I can call it, and the energy of the deck. And this one really is one that just seems to speak to my soul on a level I actually can't really understand or, or comprehend or explain. It really is just amazing. The artwork is not traditional, so to speak. It is in a way, but not really. It is a little bit more modern. It is a little bit more... Um, geometric and I just absolutely love it so I cannot wait to take you through so it comes in a in a two-part hard box you can see it's got the thumb tabs to make it easy to to open um, the box is really really gorgeous it is a US games publication and I must be honest and say you know they they can't stock the quality of their products is just amazing at the moment really do absolutely love this so field tarot you've got some some card samples on the back you've got a little bit of a description it does have a little guidebook and it says here it's a 96 page guidebook and I'm not a guidebook reader <laughs> I have to be honest and say I'm not somebody who who likes to read the guidebook but I did flip through this one and it, it's it's perfect it really is it's perfect it's not full of information but it certainly has enough right so let's open the box and see so it does have easy pull apart and when you open the box the inside of the lid is uh, the color is just beautiful um, so I'm going to put that aside and immediately you get the guidebook and as I said I have flipped through it so you can see it is lifting open a little bit but isn't the gorgeous I love the colors I love the, the, the color palette, I love the artwork, I love everything about it. It does say US Games on it. And you can see that it is a, a fair-sized book. So inside the book, if we open it up, just to, to show you the table of contents, there's an intro, there's a section on how to read the tarot, major arcana, minor arcana, and the four suits. So it is really, I'm going to call it simple and basic, but you know what, if you know how to read the tarot, you don't need any more than that. Um, I like the font and the spacing between because it's easy to read. So when you get to each of the cards, you get basically a paragraph and a couple of keywords for each of the cards. No images, but again, I think I'm okay with that. I really do think I'm okay with that because, you know, if, if I do want to, to get a bit of understanding on the card itself, I can look at the image with the, the guidebook next to me. And then you get... The cards right so let me take them out the box because we can't look at them while they're in the box <laughs> right let's do it that way so again the bottom of the box is just quite plain but i'm i'm happy with that because i don't buy a tarot deck to look inside the box i look at buy a tarot deck to look at the cards all right so these are the backs it's plain but it's not <laughs> i know it's, it's the colors probably don't come through nicely on camera but it is this beautiful bluey greeny yellowy sparkly kind of effect and it really is just gorgeous it is completely reversible so for those of you who do like reversible decks or reversible backs this is definitely one for you and i, I love the simplicity of the of the artwork of the the backs here i really do think it's incredibly pretty okay as far as the size of the deck goes, perfect. <laughs> for somebody who has arthritis, for somebody who shuffles with decks or battles to shuffle decks, somebody who loves to riffle shuffle but can't always riffle shuffle decks because of the hands, the size of this deck is perfect. You know, it I can I can quite comfortably get my hands around it. Um, it it's it's fabulous. Card stock, let's just do that. I, I, I know it's very difficult to to explain or to show card stock on camera, but it feels thick, but it, it, and it's got a little bit of, um, 
what's the word I'm looking for? It's got a little bit of tension. Uh, so it's not flimsy cardstock, but it's also not thick cardstock. It feels thick, but if you look at its actual uh, um, width, it's not actually a thick deck. So to me, this particular cardstock is fabulous. It's it's not matte, but it's also not completely glossy. I'm trying to get a reflection for you, which I think, again, for somebody like me who does a lot of videos and shows a lot of um, cards on camera, you know, glossy decks are just impossible to work with. This one is not Right, I am going to zoom in because I do want you to see the images nicely. All right, I'm hoping, I'm hoping that's going to be okay. So I know some people don't, uh, don't enjoy it when a um, tarot deck changes the names of some of the cards. But yeah, so it depends. I, I'm one of those people where it depends on the deck, it depends on the imagery. It depends on the theme. It depends on everything as to whether I'm, I'm okay with that or not. In this particular case, I am actually okay with it. So, first of all, I love the fact that she's naked. I love the fact that she's completely exposed to the elements and, you know, showing her truth, if I can put it that way. They've changed it from the full to beginnings. And, yeah, I'm, I'm okay with that. I really am okay with that. I love the fact that the horizon is so far up because it shows that she's still got a ways to go. But the, there's a journey ahead of her. It's not like it's just a short one step. There is a process. There is a journey that she needs to go through. Um, the tattoo sleeve again just shows the complexity of who she is and what she what she shows to the world. So I just think that's absolutely gorgeous. The magician. So the magician is standing on a on a cliff. I don't know what the word is, but you can see how he's in control of above and below. He's in control of earth and, and sky. Um, and you, it almost looks like he's he's calling in the energies. It almost looks like he's calling in the elements. I really do like it. So that's the magician. My priestess. I mean, isn't she gorgeous? really gorgeous you know um there, there's just such a such an aura about her and i know that's such a cliched statement but there really is just such an aura about her and she is beautiful empress i did not expect that when i was when i was first uh, ripping the deck open and going through I, I i had to it almost took my breath away because i was not expecting after all those powerful images those first three powerful images to now suddenly get the empress looking like this stunning 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 and of course, then, if you have the lioness for the empress, you have to have a masculine, strong energy. And what I did also enjoy was the fact that they've both got the pyramids or the triangle shapes behind them. Emperor. Fairly traditional hierophant, but, you know, it, it, it speaks the language. It says what it needs to say, and I think it's absolutely stunning. Love the artwork. And I found that particular lover's card so interesting. The fact that they are back to back. The fact that they are, you know, not actually facing each other. Reaching out for each other, but not, like I say, facing each other. I thought that was quite an interesting dynamic. So, yeah, you know, how much of it is real? How much of it is imagined? I love it. Look at that. I think that's one of my favorite chariot cards. Okay. Beautiful. And then we have Justice for card eight. And again, you know, we don't have the scales, but the fact that she's on the stairs completely centered, you know, really in the zone in the moment gives me that scale balance kind of, of, of feeling. So love it. Hermit, female hermit. And, and I think that's quite an unusual um, thing within a tarot deck to have a female or the hermit card depicted as female energy and isn't her fiery hair, which is the same as the light that she carries in front of her. Isn't it gorgeous? Wheel of Fortune. Beautiful. Strength. Absolutely. This deck just is remarkable. So here we have Perspective. And just to show you, I should have had it ready. Perspective is the image on the front of the box. Um, and perspective here would be the hanged man. So again, it's another one of the major arcana cards that has been renamed. Um, and I must say that uh, I had to think about perspective, perspective, what, what, which major arcana it is. But obviously, it's it's hanged man. And to me, my interpretation, whenever I read the tarot, hanged man always is about changing your perspective. So yeah, I get it. <laughs> and again, you know, with the imagery, the imagery being no individual there, we've got the yin and the yang, we've got the up and the down, we've got the the 
the challenges and, and all of those kind of things, day and night. We've got all these absolute polar opposites, and it's about trying to find where you fit in. So it is. It's about getting a new perspective on your situation. Because if you stand there, or if you stand there, you're going to see completely different situations. I like it. And isn't that a pretty death card? <laughs> if the death card could ever be pretty, isn't this it? Really absolutely gorgeous. Love it. Temperance. Love temperance. I love how she's holding the singing bowls in each hand. And, you know, the, the, there's a little bit of, of imbalance. The one is slightly higher than the other. Again, such a pretty devil card. Such a pretty devil card. Quite a traditional tower. Um, and, and also what I enjoyed about this particular tower card is the fact that there are no people falling out of the, the building. <laughs> you know, first of all, the, the tower itself is, is still standing. The tower itself is still very much, uh, um, you know, in, in, intact, even though there is lightning and there's no chaos and destruction, but there's the potential for chaos, chaos and destruction. So I quite enjoyed that, that star card. Isn't she gorgeous? So you may notice that it's probably the same person who was depicted in the beginning, except the tattoo sleeve was different and on the other arm. Um, but there's definitely uh, yeah, a little bit of a, a follow through there. The moon. Oh, I love it with her blue hair. Absolutely gorgeous. Gorgeous. And that sun card. So again, I, I know not everybody likes a collage deck, and I know this isn't really a collage deck, but but maybe but maybe it borders on that. Um, but it, I I just really love it. Judgment with our swan looking at its reflection. Is it the ugly duckling or isn't it? And that just beautiful. That card for the universe for the world is just we've got all the chakras we've got the yin and the yang we've got everything that we are and more i think it's beautiful all right so that's the major arcanas and now we're going to go into the minor arcanas starting off with the suit of wands so with the minors we have got obviously a bit of an image they are i'm going to call it ever so slightly pippish ever so slightly uh, um and, and again, I know not everybody likes a pip deck. I am not a fan of pip decks, but I am so a fan of this particular one. So you get the card image. You get a very small title saying Ace of Wands, and then you get a keyword below it. Um, traditionally, I'm not a keyword fan, but I really enjoyed the keywords on this particular deck because it doesn't seem to overpower the um, the, the layout if you do a reading with them. And I have done a couple of readings with the with the deck already. Um, and the keywords weren't sort of obvious and weren't sort of in my face. And I didn't find that the keywords were impacting, negatively impacting my readings at all. So I actually quite enjoyed the keywords on these cards. That isn't it gorgeous. Love the, the crystal imagery. So I am going to try and just speed it up a little bit because otherwise the video will be incredibly long. You can see, I mean, it's a little bit pippish, not too many people and things like that, but I'm okay with that. It works. There are some people. Isn't she beautiful? I love that Ten of Wands. Beautiful. And then when we get to the courts, so we now have, instead of the page, we have the princess. And then, whoops, instead of the knight, we have the prince. And then we have our queen. And we have our king. He's gorgeous. I love it. Right. Next suit is the suit of cups. love that one for for the five of cups i really really enjoyed it normally with the five of cups you have three in front and two at the back but here we've got all five behind her and it's almost like she's she's looking away she's not even prepared to to face it so i thought that was stunning i love that i love that one for the six of cups really absolutely gorgeous that one was beautiful like the eye kind of symbol there Princess of Cups, Prince of Cups, beautiful Queen, and our King. Next suit we go into is the Suit of Swords. 
Two of Swords. Three of Swords. Little Fox for Deception. <laughs> I liked that. The Nine of Swords, a really nice one. And that Ten of Swords. The first card that I pulled on this deck was the Ten of Swords. When I first got it and I was shuffling and, and I just wanted I wanted a message from the deck. I was like, what are you going to help me with? What, what is our relationship? And I got the Ten of Swords and immediately what I, what I understood was that this deck is going to help me help clients work through their despair, to work through their, their anguish. So yeah, I thought that was just stunning, absolutely stunning. Because again, the artwork is, is strong. The entire deck, the artwork is strong, the artwork is in control, there, there's definitely that element, but it's also very gentle, so it, it's it's assertive, I love that, this deck is very assertive. Right, Princess of Swords, our Prince, a Queen, and our King. And then our last suit, I'm just going to remove this pile, because otherwise the camera tries to focus on it, and then these don't get into into focus right so we're on to discs which is pentacles so they have changed the name of the suit from from um, pentacles to discs but again i'm okay with that beautiful one there again i like the the, the way they've changed the five of discs i think that's great love that seven love the eight i think i love them all Really, even a pippish one like that, I really do appreciate it. And that one, oh, ten of discs, isn't that just beautiful? I read so much into that image. Right, and then we have our princess, our prince, gorgeous queen, love that one. The pregnant belly, and isn't he beautiful? Isn't he gorgeous with that earth right there? Okay, so that was a very fast and very quick flip through of this gorgeous and amazing deck. I just want to show you how easily it, it riffle shuffles. Um, for those of you who do like to, I'm not an expert. I do have arthritis. Fingers don't always work and it is quite a, a, a tight deck, but just to show you, even somebody like me, who you can see how well it riffles. For somebody like me who shuffles really badly, who battles, it shuffles so well. And I think with a bit of use, it'll get even softer. And even more gentle but it does it ruffles so well so I've done two ruffles now since it's been back and let's spread the cards out and let's grab one and see <laughs> message for all of us from the field of tarot four of discs stability isn't that just gorgeous so friends I think this deck if you are a true tarot enthusiast if you are somebody who really does enjoy working with tarot on working with yourself working with others if you're looking for a, de a deck that isn't too emotional isn't too wishy-washy if you're looking for a deck that's going to be strong enough to tell you your truth to your face this is definitely the deck for you this is definitely a deck that you need to take seriously and definitely a deck that you need to bring into your into your practice the field tarot by Hannah Elizabeth Fofana really is absolutely and you know what I give it I have to 10 out of 10 I really do to me this deck is just phenomenal so I do hope that you enjoyed my review of the field tarot wishing you all a fantastic day take care